Okay, Akumaldo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Today a little bit later, so if you guys have been waiting for it, here I am. Um, so, uh, we had a nice price action yesterday. As uh, we tried to break this triangle here, the E-wave here. And what is nice is that we haven't touched this stop loss here. And we are within the... The range that I that I have established as the triangle, and we would that that means that probably we are gonna get to this higher high here, this local high, okay, 127, 20 percent for our wave C. It is likely. It's not 100 percent. It's not a certainty, but I am counting on it. I would say that. Probably we have a lot of bears, a lot of a lot of traders that are waiting for this movement here, this breakout to the upside here to short it, and then we have all those targets here down below. This six one eight, the six one eight minus six one eight minus thirty three sixty percent here that we have, is a really important target. This would be fifty three hundred. Okay, this is an important target. And I think that we might get there, okay? Or we might have a bullish momentum and, and uh, break above it. What would tell us that we are indeed out of this uh, this train, this this uh, train that is going down? If we break above this X wave here, it would be like 80, 8,500. If we go above it, that would definitely invalidate this count here. We wouldn't have this this Y here. We would have a, a, something completely different, okay? But uh, some people are telling me that this is kind of a bearish flag. It, uh, yes, I can argue with that. It might be a bearish flag. If you, you understand this, is it, if you take this as, a, as the pole and this is the flag, okay? But I... As I am an Elliott Wave analyst, I would consider that what we have here is a is a triangle that might break to the upside. Okay, if we go to the daily chart here, this is the beat stamp. All the indicators are showing this triangle. Okay, this is the RSI pretty clear. The same thing with the OBV here. Of course, the volume is is kind of declining here, so something must happen between. Uh, I don't know, uh, we have until the 16th of October 16th. I think we are going to approach this apex here, right? And we have indeed the, like I said yesterday, we are below the zero in the, this is the MACD, we are below it. We are not above zero, so we don't have a, a bullish momentum as far as the MACD is concerned, okay? <clears throat> And this is the chart, yes, yeah, the daily chart, the same thing, A, B, and then we'll have a C here. And uh, this would be the, the target, okay, the same target that I proposed, it's here, six, uh, sorry, 5300, okay, this is the target that I have here. I think this target here is going to be really important if we go down, okay. And here we have the same triangle, we try to break below it, and... We, we are pulling back, okay? And we have the EMAs. We are definitely, we are starting to get within this Ishimoku cloud. We have the 21 EMA. We have the 55 EMA. All the EMAs working, at, working as a resistance, okay? We need to close above this, this triangle here, above this... <clears throat> this uh trend this upper trend line here to consider a bullish momentum and we have, we have all those resistance here okay this would be 7200 this would be 6800 if we get to this line here if we, if we face this uh this 100 dma here that would be a good sign that we are gonna get here okay that would be our B wave, that which I'm calling uh, the B wave, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, um, oops, see, this is the, the TD sequential, I'm sorry, let me take it. 
So, the, the, yeah, and it, it, this would be the same, that, that we have the, this equation here showing this same target, okay? As I have, as I have said, and as I said yesterday, right? So, um, remember, I proposed a different target. No, uh, this is the daily, this is not the daily, this is the four hour chart. We see that we try to break it and we face this resistance here, but we, this is the four hour chart beat stamp. And the same thing, A, B, C, D, E. Remember, this is a, a rather different count with a, a higher target. This count here, actually, I would need to invalidate it because the E wave here is is getting below the C wave. So I will need to reconsider this count here. But nevertheless, we are going up. The symmetry is not that off. So I, I would not really... I'm going to... I'm not taking this out of the table. I'm not disregarding this count yet, okay? Let me show you guys. Let me have another count. It. Oh, this is... Yes, uh, this is 12 hours bit Phoenix. A really clear... Again, this is a really clear count. We have here the 55 EMA offering a support here. And we are... We close the... the let me show you guys. We close the candle above it and we are now above it and we are within this Ishimoku cloud. This is the 12 hours. It's really likely that we are going to test this upper, upper, uh, this upper boundary of the Ishimoku cloud, which is coincidentally, not coincidentally, but which is the 50% of this whole structure here. Okay, this is the 50% of this pivot high here. Swinging from this high to this low here, we have the 50% here. We are probably going to test it and this is going to be a huge resistance. Okay, so bear in mind that if we, perhaps we are going to do this. Touch it and try it again here and then we are going to break. Something like this. Especially if we take a look at this at the other side, 12 hours. See how symmetrical it is. Just, this would be a, it's really symmetrical, right? It's showing us that perhaps you're gonna have one more touch here like this, and then touch the bottom line here, and then perhaps one more time, and then this, and then we're gonna break it. We don't know exactly what's gonna happen, okay? We have a strong resistance. Here we have the Shimoku cloud showing us that this is a strong resistance. If we close below the 63, 6500 here, okay? If we get here and close the candle up below it, then we have the, 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 uh, the bottom boundary of the Ishimoku cloud here that would be 6400, okay? So, we have this target here, which is my target for the B wave. This is 7200, okay? This is a uh, this is based on this 50% movement of this whole structure here. And this is the same target that we have here. Okay? So we need to wait, but this kind of pullback here is telling me this is telling me that we are going to have a bullish momentum. At least to to, to to face this 50% resistance here again, okay? And to face, remember, that the, the upper boundary of the Ishimoku cloud, which is, by the way, here. It's the same thing here. This would be 6,700. Here would have the targets of the 6,700, the same targets, okay? So we have a confluence. And pretty much, we, uh, although we had this movement here, the, this pullback is re pretty significant. Okay, people are buying it, and it's people that bought it here is gonna wait for the 50% at least to sell it. Okay, and we are gonna have this target here and the 100 EMA here. Okay, and of course, this target here, perhaps if we are to consider this B here. But B might end here. Remember that, guys. B might end here, the 50%. And 
and that would be a 6700 and then it would go down okay don't forget that it's not a this target here it's not a guarantee nothing is a guarantee we might go down just right now but we are in a really really bearish scenario below all the emas so and uh, <clears throat> that's pretty much of it huh so um guys i'm gonna try to keep you guys updated as soon as possible as soon as we have an as soon as we have a movement if you guys want to get more updates uh consider joining us in our crypto trader educational institute this is our discord server and you have as well my 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 twitter if you guys want to give want to get updates please considering joining me there considering following me there okay and as always thanks for watching it's always a pleasure to have this guy to have you guys here and give me a thumbs up i can give me a thumbs up if, if you like it and subscribe so cheers have a wonderful day and we see each other next one later bye